I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Justin Bieber is owning his heartthrob title. After launching a successful Nicole by OPI nail polish line, One Less Lonely Girl, the 17-year-old pop sensation has unveiled a new women's fragrance, Someday by Justin Bieber. It's a fruity floral scent created to appeal to the 14 to 18 year old core of Bieber's fan base. And Justin said, let's be real. The way a girl smells is very important to a guy. I have such a deep connection with my fans, so creating a fragrance that I personally love is another way I can bring them closer to my world. Beaver told the Fashion Trade Journal that the perfume is poured into a clear glass bottle and topped with red and pink layers of hearts. The hot young star also reveals that he had an active role in designing the feminine fragrance whose package resembles that of Marc Jacobs' Lola. Well, actress Jennifer Godwin and her fiancé Joey Kern have called it quits that, according to the People magazine, the two were engaged briefly and broke up a few weeks ago. A source is adding that they will stay friends. Kern, who is 34, is an actor and writer and appeared in Cabin Fever and TV series like Looking for Grace. And Goodwin and Kern were engaged in December after they were introduced by a mutual friend. Well, every now and then, a good game of beer pong can lead to love. Such was the case for Sarah Rue, who married a longtime love, Kevin Price, who she met while beer ponging. They, they married Saturday during a beachside ceremony at the Bel Air Bay Club in Pacific Palisades, California. And rather than opting for a traditional white gown, the 33-year-old Jenny Craig spokeswoman and shedding for the wedding host reportedly wore a coffee-colored Amsail dress down the aisle of her hummingbird and butterfly-themed wedding. The couple has been engaged since August of 2009. This is the second wedding for Rue, who was previously married to writer Misha Livingstone. Well, Joseph Brooks, an Oscar-winning songwriter awaiting trial on sex crime charges, was found dead Sunday of an apparent suicide in his New York City apartment. Police say the You Light Up My Life songwriter, who was 73, pleaded not guilty to rape, sexual abuse, and other charges in 2009. A police spokesman said the reporters that were at the building around 12.30 p.m. said he was found by a friend at his home with a plastic dry cleaning bag around his head a towel wrapped around his neck and a helium tank nearby with a tube connecting it with a bag. Jeff Conway, taxi star and one-time celebrity rehab patient on Dr. Drew Pinsky's reality series, has been visited in the hospital by his former sobriety coach. As the troubled 60-year-old actor fights to survive, Pinsky denied that Conway's substance abuse was behind reports of a coma. On Friday, the doctor tweeted, just visited Jeff Conway. He is stable and looks like he will recover from his pneumonia, not an OD like the press is alleging and certainly not dead. He also criticized Conway's manager for asserting that Conway was comatose when, in fact, according to Pinsky, he's in an induced coma. However, his most recent updates, Pinsky takes a more dire tone about the 60-year-old's condition, telling Twitter followers on Saturday that the actor was not doing well suddenly. In local entertainment news, the 9th Annual Renegades and Pitch for Kids Shootout will be held Wednesday, June 8th from noon to 3 p.m. at the Casper Kilg Golf Club. For more information, you can call Rick Zolzer at 838-0094. What is the shootout? Well, it's like being at a Renegades game, like golf. No, we blended the two together. This is not your father's golf tournament. That's your latest entertainment report. For a new update daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.